Hello, Stefano. Hello, Peter. Could you introduce Wolf Funeral to the listeners of Atmosphere Entertainment? Yeah, Wolf Funeral is a, is a project that started as a Dark Communion project, and now I'm going out with a black metal album. So, uh, the first one was, you know, more symphonic and no and the second one was uh, an album of covers uh, by black metal bands and now the, the third is just mine <laughs> I'm going to, to write some black metal songs as uh, not style like Burzum but more symphonic uh -huh. so you changed the style of your music from dark wave to black metal <clears throat> yeah I I come from, from black metal as you know so I wanted to to play something more heavy than, than before. Uh, and I had this opportunity to, to write uh, with guitars and uh, screaming vocals. And uh, so I'm going to do that, you know. Uh, I, I guess that it's a good job for me. Uh, I'm writing good songs. Mm. Until now you brought up three releases two albums and one EP. Looking back on them, are you satisfied with the songs from the materials? Yes, I am. I, maybe I, I will change something on the first album because uh, it was the first, so uh, there's something that is, is uh, immature, you know, but <clears throat> I guess the, it's, it's a good uh, Dark Camion album, but some songs are just, you know, too, too much long and uh, they can bore people where they are listening. So maybe I will change that, you know, the, the durations and this kind of thing, some some kind of sounds too. But mm -hmm. they, they are good, good, good albums. The, the second one is better in my opinion. Oh. Um, any particular songs from, song or songs from that time that you still like? Yeah, I like uh, Out of the Dark very much, and I like uh, Paradise Lost too. They are mm -hmm. good songs, and Lucifer too. I mean, it's uh, it's a very atmosphere, an atmosphere song for me. And uh, on the second, I like the Dunkley cover, and uh, maybe uh, the Ensemble of Silence by Imperium. It's uh, it's very good uh, too. Mm -hmm. On your EP and your album, you cover up black metal band and black metal songs, mostly in a classic way. What made you do that? What? Um, on your, <clears throat> sorry, on your EP and on your last album that you brought out a couple of months ago, you covered a lot of black metal bands like Boazum, um this action, Satyricon, and also Sopo Eternus and Imperium, but mostly in a classical way, I mean, with classical arrangements. Yeah. What, what made you do that? Why I choose to, that kind of songs? Mm, yes, partly that, why you choose those songs, and why did you choose to make them in this way? And not in our life. Well, uh, the, the choose was because uh, I tried to, to find the, the songs that, you know, were more symphonic. And I, and I don't mean like uh, using violins and chords, but the, 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 symph the symphony of the, 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 the result of the song. I mean, like this section or emperor, they are symphonic with guitars without the orchestra and this kind of thing so it was more simple to transform that to an orchestral uh, sound mm -hmm. and I choose to do that because uh, I guess that there's a link between metal and uh, classic music so it was uh, if you want like a game but also a, a funny thing to, to transform that in, uh, in classical music because uh, most of the people maybe doesn't know that and uh, they think that, that, you know, they can sound in that way, but there is a very strong link between them and uh, it's, uh, 
I don't know, it's just funny and they are very atmospheric song we in that in that kind in my opinion and that they are good and uh, I don't know, I, I guess that uh, yeah, people found something interesting listening to them because uh, they saw what there is behind the uh, uh, metal music and the way the the music is uh, uh, had an evolution to to metal from the classical uh, classical music. Mm-hmm. Will you do something like that again in the future? Well, uh, I don't know. I I guess that I can do that, like uh, a second album of covers and that kind. You know, like between an an album and the other, I I can try to do that. Uh, I would like because you know there are a lot of songs that I can do in that way, and uh, I would like to to do something like that with other kind of bands and uh, and sounds. Uh, it will be interesting, I guess. And, and and I saw that people liked that anyway. I, I had very good comments about my my job. You also covered, you know, Asatana from Emperor. Will the song be on a future release? What the song? The song, you know, Asatana, the, your cover version of the Emperor song. Yeah. Will it be on a future release of Wolf Funeral? I don't know that, honestly. I... Probably if I will do something uh, like that again, I will put that. Uh, or I have a summoning cover too. Probably I will put them there. I don't know if in the. I don't. I don't guess I will use them in the new black metal album because you know they, they are too much different as uh, as a sound. Uh, why did you decide to cover this song when Emperor himself already covered it with Inu Asatana Opus Asatana? <clears throat> well, you mean because, uh, I mean, th- there is just that version? Mm-hmm. Well, because uh, I love that song, you know, I, it's my favorite song, I guess. So I, uh, I wanted to do that anyway because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like a tribute to a great band that I love and that song is just amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of your songs from your first album was used by uh, for a commercial by no other than NASA itself. How did it come to it? You mean uh, the the song used in the in the space uh, spot? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I just found that on you know looking for a funeral on the web. I found that was it was used there, and it was funny. <laughs> I don't know why they use it that because you know the the song is not very, in my opinion, is not very good for that kind of team. But <laughs> they 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 didn't even ask anything to me to use that. They just <laughs> did that and stuff. <laughs> But still, it's, some, it's, it's strange to see something like that. I was amazed by it when I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, no, it was a very good, you know, feeling to to see that. And uh, I had also, uh, you know, a, requ- a request for to use one of my songs for an iPhone application. That was strange, uh, honestly, because you know, <laughs> that that comment is is not usually a commercial music so <laughs> I said okay but <laughs> it was very strange uh, did at least come something positive out for what you know out of this situation <clears throat> well it's uh, it's great that you know people can contact you and uh, you know I, I don't want to say that I'm famous but it's uh it's beautiful to see people posting your music uh using your photos and this kind of things around and commenting on them it's uh, it's just amazing uh it's, it's it's something that i live for you know it's something that uh, give you a reason to go ahead mm-hmm. and uh i like it very much and i am I, my my, fun, my my fans are really very great, I have to say. They, they always contact me and ask things. Uh, and they are very interested in my work. Uh, you started in a band called Wolf's Search, where you played black metal. 
And with Paul Funeral you started to play some kind of dark wave and now you go back to black metal. Is it some kind for your back to the roots or maybe the first step to make a reunion or something like that with Wolf Wolf and Sturge? You know, I <clears throat> I want to to play again with uh, with that guy from Wolf's Diary, and uh, now I'm I ju I'm just returning to my to my roots. You know, I I as I said, I come from black metal, so that 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 is the music that I listen more. So, you know, it's dark ambient is a is a is an art music to to listen and to write because it's very atmosphere and. Uh, I don't know. You you need a big uh, inspiration to write some kind of things, and uh, that period was good to write night symphonies. But now I I feel more uh, an inspiration to to play black metal, and I so I'm doing that. Will this maybe open an opportunity for you to play live with Paul Funeral? I was thinking about that. I. I can honestly, I, I can, but I have to find some play members because you know I I write and I record everything alone. So if I find some someone that wants to play them with me live, I I can also decide to do that. But I I don't know. It, 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 I will see this when the album come out. You know, will come out. Mm. I mean, you also have the opportunity like Limbonic Art, for instance. Two guys and the rest come from the PC, the rest of the music. Yeah, I, I don't like that very, very much, honestly. I mean, uh, you know, uh, when you play live, you play live. And I guess that the, the best thing is when you have all the members on the stage. But, but I don't I don't know. If if I have the necessity to, to do that and I don't find live members, I can also think about that, yeah. Why not? Mm, so you're more into a uh, band than into a personal project? <clears throat> what? Um, I mean, you, so you're more into a band than into making this a personal thing with only you and the computer? Yeah, no, I, you know, I, this is a, a one-man band project, so I didn't think to... To, to play live anyway. This is a thing that will come with time if I need that, and uh, I'm not thinking about that now, honestly. Mm -hmm. 